Well, so let me give you a little balance sheet then of how uh, I think technology is likely to affect democratic institutions. So let's start with the worries, the things that I think could be quite um, uh, unproductive and disruptive in a way that uh, we need to take account of. Uh, so the first is that I think technology, especially digital technology, artificial intelligence is likely to displace a lot of people from work. And how it is that a democratic society will manage a transition of people who currently have jobs to being unemployed because robots or uh, other things have taken over their work is a big question. Um, unemployment is a big one. Uh, second, technology, digital technology in particular, has completely reshaped the media landscape uh, and the uh, kind of um, ordinary ideals of mainstream media now have been fragmented and we have a completely different media landscape which has changed the way that people receive news and information, often producing negative effects, you know, echo chambers, fake news, these kinds of things. Um, on top of that, I'd say that one of the things that's perhaps on the more distant horizon, but still a worry, is the idea that artificial intelligence will be deployed not within the ordinary operation of the labor market, uh, but also within the military, and a future in which the arms race will not be the stockpiling of weapons, but the stockpiling of artificial intelligence that will manage drones and other types of warfare is uh, another scary future to reckon with. On the upside uh, half of the ledger, I think you can point to the idea that one of the familiar uh, results of technology is to increase various efficiencies, whether it's in business or elsewhere, and we should and could expect the same within government. So we, we can find ways to connect citizens with their representatives or citizens um, with broader forms of participation politically through technological means, uh, that would be a, a big enhancement of democracy. One perhaps utopian possibility there is uh, technological uh, ways of communicating can allow citizens access to governance in a way in which they previously had to go through their representatives or felt distant from everything. And um, we might reimagine the very possibility of direct democracy uh, in, a, in a world where technology permits the mass communication on a, on a broad scale. Uh, I also think that you could point to a variety of ways in which uh, efforts like Code for Australia or uh, in the States Code for America, you find ways to champion people who have engineering and coding skills, not to devote their talent to a startup company in the marketplace, but to a civic project, um, expecting that the neutral tool of technology can be deployed for some important civic end. And I think um, the vast majority of people have deployed their, their engineering skill for a corporate or a marketplace purpose and now we're just beginning to see the emergence of civic technology and the talent um, pool there growing. So that's an exciting, exciting prospect.